As a canine behaviourist, a huge portion of my job is working with dog-to-dog -dog aggression and dog reactivity. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to help you make huge amounts of success with this exact problem yourself. So the first tip is making sure that you understand your dog's triggers and their arousal levels and how that impacts the reactivity or the aggression that you're seeing. Is he food driven? Um, so he is, it's, it's a bit strange because he, he is in the house, mm -hmm. same as toy driven in the house. We take him on a walk, no interest yeah. at all. And the, arou the arousal just overrides yeah. it. And yeah. 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 yeah, and if he's trying to jump over cars to get to yeah, other dogs. It's... That was prey drive, 100%. Yeah. If he was off lead, he would have chased them sheep down. What he would have done when he got there, I don't think would be great. Now, that just is what it is. We're not gonna take that away from him, is my honest bit of feedback we're gonna have to start with today. Yeah. That's probably gonna be the toughest love answer. Are we gonna get him to stop wanting to do that? No, but there's gonna be lots of things we can do. The game is gonna be bringing that arousal down or stopping it from getting that high in yeah. the first place. You might watch that and not think that it's that dramatic because he's not being a shepherd or a Malinois and blah, 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 yeah, yeah. loads of barking. But in his mind, he's that jacked up. He's in that level of arousal. Now, when it comes to reactivity or dog-to-dog -dog aggression, we have to factor in having the ability to communicate well to our dogs that they're doing something wrong. And yes, that has to come in the form of some kind of correction. But we have to understand what level of correction your dog needs because every dog, every breed, every case is different and there simply isn't a one-size-fits-all. Now, if you just do a little kind of pop and back away for me, Lovely, that's all I needed to see. So it's definitely prey drive that spikes him to a 10. Yeah. So he's, whether that was, I think that's like guardy territorial instinct. He's heard something, he's seen something flap in the wind, which has made him do this. Yeah. So he's gone around. Now, if you do that again for me. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking at level 0 0.5, snaps him out. Yeah. Now, when his prey drive is triggered by dogs, cat, sheep, that goes to 10. It does, yeah. Really quickly, which then means if you the prong collar's gonna work, you're gonna need to go to those levels. So we've started walking and he's clocked the sheep and that arousal started to come up and I instantly did probably a level two or three correction. And that bopped that arousal back down a little bit. So it was still there. Yeah. We didn't get rid of it, but it bopped it down. And it was quite, it was a fairly stern correction. And then we got closer. Then we stopped, I started talking to you, and that arousal, so we were kind of here, correction was a little bit higher, and that arousal just went straight yeah. up. Then I went to about a four or five a couple of times, which you obviously observed. That arousal went straight through. Yeah. I went to about where I feel comfortable challenging a dog with a prong collar, especially in a first session, and it skimmed the top bit off. Enough where I did feel like I'm in control here, Yeah you're not gonna pull me over, you're still going, but I've got enough where I'm keeping you here, but absolutely, I'm managing it at best, which obviously we wanna be able to go far beyond that. And last but certainly not least, we have to talk about your lead handling skills. The vast majority of reactivity and aggression is seen whilst on a walk, whilst the dog is on lead. And if you don't have good leash handling skills, you are absolutely either causing the problem or making the problem significantly worse. And I want you just to kind of handle him. I'm gonna ask you just to kind of do what you'll have seen me do a million times. I call it kind of my tune-up drill. Yeah. When I distract him, <laughs> would now be to yeah, move away and then do some directional changes. Yeah. Nice, that was lovely, lovely, really good. And then towards me, and then straight towards me. And then back. <laughs> Lovely. Is this quite standard? Yeah. Lots of nose is, down and him getting lost. Yeah, this is quite normal. It's just more interested on floor sniffing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't particularly look up at me yeah. constantly like a lot of dogs do. Do me one another 180 and but keep going. Hello, come. So that there was loads better. The one thing I want you to work on, and you know what you said earlier about like you think you're there, it's just a fine tuning. Yeah. 
is he's got a bit of a frustrating habit of doing this yeah and getting lost it comes and you side. being a nice person you're kind of worrying a little bit where he is yeah which is making you stumble and stop a little bit and lots of like looking down yeah it's countering what we're trying to achieve with that we're going this way and you're coming with me yeah so just try and work on and it, this is where we kind of call it like lead handling <laughs> skills you need to feel where he is yeah and know what he's doing without having to look at him and yeah. you can feel that through your lead he, he changes it's really evident yeah. you'll see it if you watch it back on camera yeah, well, yeah. now he looks completely different okay 15 seconds ago he's better in tune with you and engage with you yeah. and he's now sniffing significantly less and turned significantly better right there yeah, yeah. but isn't it lovely yeah you went from kind of being on a walk together to he was walking with you yeah with a couple of tiny tweaks and it, it, it makes me emotional it's beautiful so I hope that video was helpful guys. If it was, give it a like, subscribe if you are new here, so make videos like this every single week to help make sure you have your very own dream canine companion.